I became a U.S. citizen on September 11, 2001. Um, I, it's, it's still, you know, an experience that you know, I have to take a little breath and talk about when I, when I do try to remember that day, but it's, it was just unreal. It just means so extra much to me. We came here halfway through the summer, you know, while starting high school and, um, or my senior in high school. And, you know, financially, you know, my parents worried uh, just a lot. Like, okay, so we're here, what's next? No jobs, there's a little bit of savings. So first job in the U.S. was working at Taco Bell. Naturally, just, I, I just, I went out and I applied to every job that, you know, I saw <laughs> available in, in our neighborhood and Taco Bell needed help. My, my English wasn't really that good at all. I've been here for only like a month. And I was uh, designated to the drive through section of Taco Bell, which was extra challenging because I really couldn't even hear what people were saying, yet alone understand. But I got through it. It was a lesson. You know, I met a lot of friends great friends, people that worked extremely hard. And I think it really, you know, set me up for, for a future where, you know, anything was possible. You know, I looked at that experience as, I can do anything. I can get up in the morning, go to swim practice, I can go to school, and I can go and work at Taco Bell after school, help out my parents. Yeah, I think you feel not just rewarding that you can do something like this, but invincible in a way, yeah. Taking, uh, taking a topic or maybe a specific ingredient, putting our position out there as well as. Uh, I remember, you know, just an ordinary day. I was super excited. Got up in the morning and my fiance at that time, my husband, we were heading over to San Francisco and the ceremony was supposed to be a four hour long ceremony and I've heard such wonderful things about it, how special the ceremony is going to be. It was in the federal building in San Francisco, and because I was so excited, we never turned the radio on. We drove uh, to the city from Oakland, and I remember entering the building, and it was just, just chaos. People were talking and whispering, and you could just sense this uncertainty, uh, in, you know, in the building among people. And then, uh, you know, you overhear people saying, you know, what what happened? Uh, what happened to New York? What happened to the towers? And yeah, it's it's shocking. Uh, you know, you're, you're here to celebrate something so special. Yet on the other side of uh, of the country, you know, people are dying. So for me, becoming a U.S. citizen is, you know, I feel like I. When I wear a singlet that says USA on it, it's extra, uh, extra heavy. I feel a sense of responsibility and pride every time I tell a line and have an opportunity to, to race and represent the country. The opportunity to be a US Olympian and to actually make the Olympic team in a country where, you know, Olympic trials are extremely competitive, you know, cycle after cycle. So many women can make the team, but only three get to go and represent the country. And for me to go from, you know, from a small town in Poland and immigrate via Germany and, you know, I went to, to college, went to Cal, never really thought about the fact that one day, you know, I will get get a chance to represent the United States of America as an athlete. It's an incredible honor and privilege to, to, to do something like this. Um, and it, it continues to be, whether it's the Olympics or even trail races when you go out there and you know they announce that you know this athlete is from the United States of America. 
It's, it's very similar. It's, it's an honor. Yes, there are different levels of competition, but to me, every time I represent the United States is, is something very special that I take it seriously. <laughs>